I'm here inside the Beehive dashboard and today we're going to be overcoming a massive hurdle that a lot of people seem to fall into, get stuck by when setting up on Beehive. We're currently on day 19 of our free course that shows you how to set up a newsletter business in the best way to help you be profitable and enables you to use AI. These are the four things we're going to have a look at. But if you followed our video yesterday or part one of the setup, you would have seen that there are a few things that we recommend you do. They're under this bit here before you even start the free trial in order to maximize the benefits of that 14 day free trial you get with Beehive. If you want the free trial, go down into the description, hit the link and you'll be able to get access to that. So these are the issues that people face. They come into the dashboard, they do the setup process for the account, which is what I showed you in the previous video. And then they get to this point, and this is the point where they get stuck. And I want to show you what you need to do in these steps to make sure that you don't have this particular issue. So you'll notice I've already done the first one of these, which is get your first subscriber. I recommend the first subscriber is you. Just pick your personal email account or an email account you check daily and sign up as a subscriber. All you need to do is click on the home page. All you need to do is go down to the quick links here, open these up and you'll be able to get your subscriber page, put in your email address, hit subscribe, and then you'll be subscribed to your own newsletter. And what this means is you'll be able to see what your subscribers are seeing as well every time and you'll be able to check what's going on. Now it's also a good time if you've got any family or friends anyone else who would be a first subscriber for you go ahead send them that link ask them to subscribe as well so you can get a few people on your list that's probably how you're going to get the first up to 10 people if you know more people if you've got an audience great then what you're going to want to do is you want to start customizing things now we're going to go through in much more detail this process in our free course that goes through beehive in detail if you want to get access to that we're going to be releasing that shortly so just hit subscribe to the channel and then hit the bell notification so when we release these free trainings where we show you how to set everything up in detail in order to help you maximize traffic and rank in google things like that then go ahead subscribe and you'll be able to get notifications on those videos but for now we just want to do an overview of getting these things set up so it says here customize your theme you know your style better than anyone. Customize your theme to create something totally unique to stand out in the inbox. You can change fonts, colors, spacing, backgrounds, and much more. Now, if you heard what I said in the previous video, you will know that some of this already gets done for you when you go through the setup process. Just make sure, as I said in the previous video, you've got the graphics I suggested created already, and you've thought about the points that you're gonna to have to put in in that setup process. But what will happen is you'll come to this page. If I close this, these are all the different things that you can um, edit and you can customize. If you hit this button here, you can scroll up and down and you can see all the different options within your newsletter. This one here will help you scroll the menu on the other side. Now, there's so many things that you can actually change and you can make this completely unique. So if you already have a business, then you might want to change some of these things. For example, the header text, you might already have a font that you use within your business and you might want to change that. The same with the height and weight of it. Again, with the body text, you might have a font that you like or that you want to use that goes with your brand. But a lot of people open up this page and think they've got to edit all of this. But what I want you to do, I want you to think about this as a sample of what your newsletter will look like. So you don't actually have to go and change anything on this page if you don't want to. And that's the key point here. A lot of people think that they've got to go through all of these and set these up, but you don't have to do that. If you want to go in, change, for example, your email footer, as it says here, then you can go ahead and you can do that. But there's actually no reason for you to do that. So for example, when I set up Beehive, I picked out these two colors as my theme colors for my brand but if i want to go and change this i can go in here and change the color across the email footer but i don't have to the way they've done this is they picked out the colors that um, i requested and they put this into the email already so 
everything is already set up and you can just as you see see how the pictures are going to look the captions are going to look the links are going to look you can see how here we've got this um could be a sponsored post how that's going to look and as i said how your foot is going to look so just think about this as a sample so if there's anything in here that you do actually want to change you can go ahead and do that but actually all you really need to come in and do is take a look and then you can just hit save changes so for example i haven't actually made any changes so if i wanted to change something so let's maybe move this down to 15 make everything a little bit smaller i can hit save changes and then my theme as you can see has been published but you don't actually have to go in so i just make that tiny change there and i get a tick we've already discussed the first subscriber and then we can go in and customize our website now for this one as you can see it says your website is the face of your publication for new subscribers and people that prefer to read online we recommend changing the colors themes and fonts to match your aesthetic now as i said previously when i went up through the setup process that we discussed in the video before i picked the colors that i wanted but i can come in here now and i can change the color palette if i want to again we can go through layout you've got the default or the newspaper if you want to explore that and again you have all their default settings with their themes but if you want to change any of this at any point then you can do that if you've got a particular preference for example on button shape or anything like that the same thing with analytics if you've got a pixel already you can go in and you can put that in or google analytics ids if you feel like getting a little bit more fancy then you can go through and you can start filling this out this is some of this you probably want to do so for example i've already come up with a logo we discussed that in the previous video and that's going to appear as my avatar and i set that up last time but i can put in a success message this is a message that appears um, at the top of the sign up flow and again i can go through and i can edit all of these features same with pages with my landing page i can customize this now this one's here is really important for search and turning up in search because it helps google understand what the page is about so you might want to put some of that in there you can see here you've got this button that will go through in the future that you can use same with the home page nav bar and then comments as well so you can go through these and you can make any changes that you want and that will be your website set up and everything will be ready to go if i go back once you've completed customize your website you can then go on and you can write your first draft so you want to go through those processes but as i said i'm not going to go through these in great detail because that will be an hour or two long video and that's not what we're trying to do in this course if you do need that kind of level of training support you've got two options like i said before subscribe to the channel check out our completely free in-depth beehive training that's going to be coming soon or number two check out the description you can find out how we can set all of this up for you for your brand or business if you've got money to spend on this just go down into the description so on the next video we're going to go ahead and write our first draft if you can't wait to see how we use ai in order to set up these um, newsletters to get them ready in just a few minutes then you can click on the card at the top of the video now and you can go ahead and watch that otherwise you'll be able to see us create the newsletter and put it into beehive in the next video that will be coming out tomorrow we'll see you in the next one